Good morning, YouTube. In a previous video, I showed you guys how not to install a steering wheel in a 66 Ford Mustang. I decided to not keep that steering wheel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why I made the swap and what I went with instead. So here is my new steering wheel. I really like this one a lot. I can't say love because it does have a little flaw, which I'll talk about in a minute, but I really like the positioning of it. It actually sits back about an inch. So it's a little further away from me, which I really like. Another really interesting thing about this one compared to the other one that I installed is that it's almost shaped a little bit more like an egg, I guess, or it's just a little taller and I can actually see my gauges which was one of my complaints I had about the other steering wheel. And this one is actually much better. Some other complaints I had about the other steering wheel, it was all metal, so it would get hot and it would also get really slick. And it gets hot down here in Tennessee and I do sweat. <laughs> and if I was going around a turn, my hands were constantly slipping. And I didn't really like that. It really wasn't safe. It was also a thinner diameter and I wanted something more substantial to grab onto and this checked all of the boxes it's thick it's leather it's grippy i like the ergonomics of it as well and of course it's still the d shape i really still wanted to keep the d shape because it helps my fat ass get in and out of this car so for all of those reasons i'm introducing this new steering wheel i've had a very very hard time trying to find a 14 or 15 inch d shape steering wheel it's just like, they don't make them. There's there's really not a lot. I didn't find any 15 inch D shape. I think 15 inch might be perfect because it'd give me more visibility to my gauges right here. But this one happens to be fine. It's also a half inch larger than my previous one. And that seemed to help a lot. And as I look at these screws here, another weird thing, for some reason with the other steering wheel, all of these screws were loose, even with using the Loctite. I was really surprised that, I don't know if it's the material or something, but the screws were backing out. So it was creaking and I couldn't figure out why until I was taking it all apart to install this one. And the screws were loose. Oh, and my last complaint about that before we move on is that the seller that I bought it from on eBay charged me a restocking fee. I told him it was used, he accepted the return, and he got it and charged me a 20% restocking fee. So F that guy, that sucked. But enough of that one. Now we'll talk about this one. This is actually kind of sad. I'm kind of sad to say this, a Chinese steering wheel. <laughs> so it took about a month for it to arrive, but I couldn't find anything here in America. I couldn't find any, any local company that actually made what I wanted. Again, that was, I wanted a D-shaped steering wheel, something thick I could grab onto. And this company in China happened to make them. So I'll have a link in the description below if you guys are interested. This thing was crazy cheap. I forget exactly what I paid. I think it was only like 40 bucks. So I don't know, something like that. It feels great in the turns. It gives me the egress I need to get in here. Oh, and I actually also bought a new hub adapter. This is about, like I said, an inch shorter. So it is further away from me, which is also really nice. Again, that inch just really made a difference. Now for the only negative, the only downside I have about the steering wheel, it does wiggle. It's not super strong. You can see how it moves like that. So the metal they used probably isn't the greatest and it doesn't seem like it's all connected in a big ring around it and the forks here because you can see the top moving. It's not the end of the world. I don't feel it when I'm driving. I kind of hope that maybe it's a safety feature. If I'm ever in a car accident, this is gonna be like a spear, unfortunately, and maybe that'll break a little bit instead of hitting me in the chest. Hopefully I never have to find out. But that is why I swapped out from the old steering wheel. I think it was called a Firepower or something like that. But yeah, so I ditched that steering wheel for this one and I really like my decision. I'll have links in the description below in case anybody wants to go with this. This adapter was really easy to install. The steering wheel is really easy to install. The horn, everything was just so much better 
than that one that I got on eBay last time. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.